Hi, I'm Fabiana, and I'm a lover of face masks. I'm always looking for the next best one to try out on my skin and see if it does what it promises to do. I recently read a post by our Insider Picks team about this $80 mud mask. It had great reviews, people raved about it, and the post was saying that this mask is really worth the price. It's brightening, it's soothing, anti-aging, hydrating. I also came across this way cheaper version, very similar, it's also a mud mask. I found it on Amazon, and this also had really great reviews and a really high star rating. And it says it's for deep cleansing, exfoliating, and detoxing. I have combination skin, so I currently use two different masks at once. I will put more of a deep, pore cleaning mask on my T-zone, which are the areas of my face that get really oily. And then on my cheeks is where I get a little more dry and I will put like a very soothing, calming, hydrating face mask on those portions of my face. So I'm going to test out both face masks for two weeks and see what it does to my skin, how my skin reacts from it, and is the $8 face mask really worth it or can we just save some money and use the cheaper version? First contender is the Mud Masky. The instructions say, wash your face and hands, which I already did, apply a thin layer to your face, and leave mask on for seven to 11 minutes. You may experience a slight tingling sensation. Okay, remove mask with cold water. Here I go. It's already drying. So I'm gonna come back in seven minutes, remove this, and see how my skin feels. So clearly the face mask turned a different color as it's drying. It's super, super stiff. I cannot move my face. My face feels really, really tight. So I just rinsed off the mask and that took a lot of effort to get that mask off. But as of right now, it feels super soft. Hey guys, it is the second time that I am trying the expensive Mud Masky mask. It's hard to tell exactly if it's made a huge difference in my skin because it does take time for your skin to adapt to different products and different um, masks that you're putting on it. It's hard to get it even with just your finger. It is the next morning after I tried my mud masky for the second time and my skin feels super soft and also I saw like some breakouts that were coming up around my chin and they really kind of disappeared so I've come to the end of the journey for this expensive mask and I have to say I haven't really seen crazy results like I was expecting. I read up a bunch of articles that really claim that this mask totally changed people's skin. I really don't think that my skin significantly changed. It really looks pretty much the same. Tonight is the first night that I'm trying the Amazon mud mask. I hope that I like this one better because to be honest, I was not crazy about the mud masky version. This is a much different consistency of the two masks. The other one had these little granules in it and I really was not that crazy about that because I just felt like it was constantly exfoliating. Keep the mud mask on for 15 to 20 minutes. That's a huge difference compared to the other mask. Okay, my forehead is kind of stinging. This is the second time that I'm applying this. I'm not going to put as much on my cheeks because I'm just more sensitive there and a little more dry. My skin was kind of burning and this was making me nervous. So I'm gonna try it for 10 minutes, see if that makes a difference. This is the third night that I have used the Amazon Mud Mask and I just kind of want to check in with my skin and see how it's looking. So far, I haven't had any breakouts. This one that I was concerned about on my chin is almost completely gone. 
So I've tested a $13 mud mask now for four different nights. I finished testing this one and I have to say I really love how my skin looked. My makeup went on really nicely today so I was really happy about that and yeah I really could say that I genuinely loved the Aria Star mud mask. After spending a few weeks testing two mud masks, one was an $80 one and one was a $13 one. With the expensive mud masking mask, I did notice a significant change, but not for the good. It overall made my skin really dry. It didn't really do anything to my breakouts. Um, and I expected really great things from this mask and really clear skin. Overall, I loved everything about the Aria Star Mud Mask. I love the consistency of it. It was really smooth, it wasn't super thick, and it just went on my skin really nicely and it spread really evenly, which is sometimes difficult to find with these type of masks. I can proudly say that I loved the cheaper version from Amazon, which is only $13.